Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about a fragrance from the house of Toomey. And this one is called Atlas. And this was a sample that I got in my Belk Perfume and Trial Sampler kit for him. There it is right there, front and center. Toomey Atlas. And I've reviewed Toomey fragrances before. I believe this will be my third one on this channel. Um, came out in 2022, so one of their newer releases. A woody spicy fragrance with top notes of Sicilian bergamot, Florida grapefruit, cardamom, and amberwood. In the in the middle notes, we have ginger, labdanum, and geranium. Base notes of Haitian vetiver, Java vetiver oil, sandalwood, and moss. And on the back of the box, there is a little bit of a statement here. Introducing Atlas, the fragrance that transports him to his exclusive and personal escape. Atlas is undeniably bold, fresh, and profoundly sophisticated. The fragrance features a fresh burst of citrus notes of Italian bergamot and Florida grapefruit, while notes of amberwood balance and give way to a sophisticated heart. Notes of labdanum, geranium, and ginger amplify the heart. The freshness of Hades, vetiver, and the smoky feel of Java embody the, the uniqueness of the man who wears it. So, uh, yeah, I've worn this one a few times. And uh, go ahead and get my thoughts on it. You put this one on, first thing you're going to notice is just a very bright, uplifting citrus from the bergamot in the grapefruit. Now, to my nose, it's not like a supernatural smelling citrus because the citrus is blended with the amberwood, and the amberwood does give it a sweetness almost bordering on bubblegum. So it is sort of in that same vein as like that bubblegum citrus that is so common in today's modern fragrances. Perhaps... Uh, toned back a bit from some of the other ones out there but you know, there is a little bit of that amberwood in there to give it that sweetness that uh, is so common in a lot of today's fragrances um there is woods in here i think it is that sandalwood that i'm picking up on it gives it a bit of a powdery almost sawdusty kind of a vibe in the background i do get the cardamom in here to add some spice i'm not really getting that zesty ginger that uh i uh was hoping for it says there's vetiver here. Not really sure I'm getting a profound or distinct vetiver here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, also got the geranium in there, which gives it a touch of a minty edge as well. So yeah, it's uh, woody, spicy, citrusy, kind of sweet, with a touch of mint in there. So it, it touches all the bases. It's got the spice, the woods, the citrus, and the herb from the uh, geranium. So it's a pretty nice blend. But it does kind of the same thing that a lot of other fragrances do. Um, the only thing good I can really say about it is that it does tone back the sweetness a touch from some of the other ones out there. But it's still in that same vibe, I think, is, is that bubblegum stuff. So really not my favorite fragrance from the kit. But uh, let me get into some final scores here. The smell, I'm going to say 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, you know, that sweetness there from that amberwood, it just, it kind of gives it more of a youthful vibe to my nose. But uh, I think there is enough wood and spice in here as well that an older person like myself could enjoy it as well. So I, I think this one would be suitable for all ages. Um, projection longevity, I'll say maybe five to seven hours. It's It seems to linger pretty well. I, it does have some legs to it. So... Um, that's a good thing. Versatility, I think you can wear this year-round because it's woody, it's citrusy, it's spicy. So a good signature scent for somebody that just wants a small collection of three or four fragrances. Uh, uniqueness, uh, maybe six and a half out of ten. It does have all the same elements of a lot of the other fragrances out there. Price point, now this one is a bit pricey. $110 for a 3.4 is pretty much the standard price for this one. I haven't seen it uh, anywhere discounted i would say this would be a good fragrance for that 40 to 50 dollar range uh, over a hundred dollars makes it a little bit too much in that same vein as like the top tier christian dior and chanel fragrances so i don't really know if i would recommend spending over a hundred dollars for a bottle of this one but you know try it and see what you think maybe you'll like it enough that you'll want to get a bottle of it personally i don't think it's that special overall for me i'm going to say six and a half out of ten a good everyday fragrance for somebody that doesn't have a large collection uh, people with larger collections will find this one more of just a standard everyday fragrance that doesn't really stand out from the crowd. But uh, check it out if you're into uh, grapefruit, amberwood fragrances. 
the sandalwood, stuff like that. But that's my review of the Toomey um, Atlas. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.